Hey guys, and welcome to another UFC 2 tips and tricks video. On this video, I'll be going over how to block the clinch, how to defend strikes in the clinch, how to defend takedowns, how to block transitions, and how to escape as well. This video is going to have a fair bit of focus on the Muay Thai clinch since that's used quite a lot online. So that'll be a main focus of the video, but it'll be all aspects of the clinch. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go over is denying the clinch attempt. Now there are two ways you can do this. The first one is you can interrupt his clinch attempt by landing strikes. This can be strikes to the head, body, or I believe some leg kicks as well can actually deny the clinch attempt. The second way to deny the clinch attempt is to hold right trigger, or R2 for PS4, and flick up on the right analog stick. Now this is kind of tough to do, but you'll be able to tell when he moves in for the clinch attempt and he hold right trigger R2, flick up with the right analog stick, you'll be able to push him away from you. This one's a bit tougher to do with the timing as you can usually get into the clinch pretty quickly, but it's a good way to prevent the clinch in the first place if you have good reaction speed. The next thing I'm going to go over is blocking strikes in the clinch. This one's pretty basic, but if you find yourself in the clinch, to block knees, which people online use a lot, whether it's knees to the head or the body, hold right trigger or R2. Now to block head strikes, whether your opponent's throwing elbows or punches, hold right bumper or R1. Okay, next I'm going to go over defending the tie clinch attempt from single collar. When you get engaged in the clinch, this is the position that you'll most likely be in, is single collar. So the way you can tell that your opponent is trying to transition into the Muay Thai clinch is that he'll place his arm or his hand rather on the inside of your elbow so when you see him put his hand on the inside of your elbow that's when you know he's trying to transition to the Muay Thai clinch the trick that I use to defend the tie transition from single collar is to press right trigger R2 and flick the right analog stick in the same direction as the arm he's using so if you see his right arm come towards your elbow you flick the right analog stick to the right if you see his left arm come into your elbow then flick the right analog stick to the left. So right trigger or R2 and the analog stick, right analog stick in the same direction as the arm he's using. That's the best way I use to defend the tie transition from single collar. There are a lot more transitions but I won't be going over that in this video just because it would take way too long but I might make a video on that in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below as well. Now, if your opponent gets you in the Muay Thai clinch, you're obviously going to want to escape as quickly as possible. Your opponent's most likely be going for knees, so the best way to escape is to hold right trigger or R2 to block the knee, and as soon as you block it, transition out right away. You'll be able to get out faster after successfully completing a block. So if you find yourself in single collar or double under and you want to escape the clinch, there's two ways that I like to do it. One, you can just use break, which is sometimes pretty slow and it might be easy to block for your opponent. Breaking, by the way, is just right or up on the right analog stick. Another way that's usually quicker and you can take it to the ground is takedowns. Takedowns from single collar or double under, just hold left trigger and you'll have a number of options come up. Usually this is a lot quicker than using break and if you have good ground game you could use this to your advantage if your opponent engages you in the clinch. I find that the fastest takedowns are usually the leg trips. Even if you have lower stamina you can usually take them down pretty quickly and your opponent will often not defend in time. Okay next I'm going to go over defending takedowns in the clinch. Defending takedowns is actually pretty easy. You're always going to want to use right trigger R2 and flick down on the right analog stick to stuff takedowns from the clinch. Whether it's the leg trips or single leg or the judo throws, using right trigger or R2 and down on the right analog stick is always going to block those. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to go over is defending the whip. To defend the whip, you're going to want to press right trigger or R2 and flick the right analog stick in the direction that you're being pulled. So if your opponent grabs you and tries to pull you off balance to the right, flick the right analog stick to the right, and if he pulls you to the left, flick the right analog stick to the left. 
Okay, well, that is it for this video, but if there's something I missed, or if you have a question, feel free to leave a comment down below. I always read the comments. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It always helps, and I will see you guys again next video.